You know, all joking aside, we love to have fun and play around. Get a little nasty. But you gotta remember that. Careful not first. Big source of this, the sound of rock and roll music came from an even greater source. And that is from gospel music. You know? God made us right have a good job. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's one thing that's really big because they obviously want to be a gospel singer. You want to be so many things. You know, I was just so centric, so talented. I want to do so many things. and did a good job of doing so many things. It's same true of yourself. And so that's what I'm really thankful for about Elvis as a person, as an artist. And so, as you know, he wanted to start doing some gospel music in the 50s, come out with some albums. He wanted to do it on the Ed Sullivan Show, and Ed Sullivan said, No way, kid. You know, they want you to be the rock and roll, the rebel. They want you out there doing gospel music. Even though his mother Gladys asked him to do her favorite gospel song. So he said, Well, if you don't let me do it, I'll give you back all your money, and I won't do the shows. It's $50,000. $50,000 in 1956. That's nearly half a million dollars today for three appearances. Would you have given the money back? Yeah, I didn't think you would either. <laughs> but as the story goes, Mr. Sullivan, being a very smart man, knew he could not lose his opportunity because that was rarely did TV appearances. So he did not really lose his opportunity. So I'm going to do Elsa's mother's favorite gospel song.